Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video from me. Today we are doing our BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of November. So for today's video, it's a fun one because I actually got the Boxium Premium sent to me as well. So we are going to have our regular BoxyCharm as well as the premium boxes. I'll be showing you guys all of the products that came inside. I will swatch everything. So if you're ready, why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so this video is fun because I just filmed this and realized my mic wasn't on. So I filmed the entire thing and now I'm going to refilm it, just letting you know. So I've already seen everything that came inside of each box, so I actually probably can run through these pretty quickly so we don't have to waste much time. So we do have our regular boxy charm here. This one is $25 a month. They have just upped it. Previously was $21, now it's $25. So they are saying it's gonna have a value of over $200 in it every single month. So we have this box right here and then they also sent me over their premium box this month which this one right here is the premium as you can tell it's quite a bit larger than this one here this one's going to be $35 a month and you do get seven I think they said six to seven full-size products in this one here so let's go ahead and start with the regular boxy charm before the month of November and then I'll show you guys what came inside the premium box the theme this month is Stellar. Here is the card that is gonna come inside of your box. My variation for the BoxyCharm is number six. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of the products that we did get. Fair warning, I think this box is really good. I love the products that we got this month. I'm so excited about it. So something a little different this month is we did have a sample in here. We normally don't get any like sample size items in BoxyCharm, but they did have this little sample right here. This is from Pretty Vulgar. It's their undercover lightweight concealer. And they do give you four different shades in that. That. So I did want to just throw that out there that this is inside of the box. The first thing that is in here are Lily Lashes. I'm so excited about this because I adore her lashes. So here are the lashes right here. These are actually an exclusive for BoxyCharm, so they're an exclusive lash. They look really, really pretty. If you haven't tried her lashes before, I love them. I think they are such good quality, really, really comfortable on. They're very easy to use. I definitely recommend checking hers out if you haven't before. The retail price on these lashes is $25, so that right there pays for the cost of the box, and I always recommend these lashes, so I think it's worth it right there just for those. The next product that we got in here is a skincare product. So this is from the brand Caprice. It's their Antioxidant Dew Quench Glow Serum. So this actually came in this packaging right here. It looks very nice, and it's a glowy serum. The price on this serum is crazy. It says that it retails for $90, so it's definitely a pricey, pricey serum. I've never heard of this brand before, so you'll have to let me know down below if you've tried anything from them, but this is supposed to be like a hydrating, glowy product that will give you nice and hydrated skin. It does say that you can use as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. So you could use it probably as like a primer as well if you wanted to. The next item in our box this month is actually a set of brushes and this is actually from BoxyCharm itself. So it came in like this little case right here and there are two different brushes that are a part of this one. So it does say that the retail on these is $35 for the two brushes. I will say that this is probably my least favorite thing out of the boxes. I don't love this shape of brush. I find them a little bit hard to work with. They're kind of like a dome shape. They do feel pretty soft, but they're also dense. So for me, I would typically use these for like a foundation or something like that, but just the shape of them I always find kind of odd. And I just never know what to do with these kind of brushes. So we do have those two in here. So we have a larger one and then a little bit smaller one. I would probably use these for like cream contour or cream products. You can use them for powders, but I always just feel like they kind of sit awkwardly. I don't know, I just don't always love these kind of brushes, but if you're into that, or if you need face brushes. I think it's nice that we got those instead of like eye brushes because we always get those in the boxy charms. I feel. So we did get a lip product this month in my box as well. I got this one here from A Dose of Colors, which I'm so excited about. I love their lipsticks. I have mine in the shade Charm. I believe that they did some different variations of this lipstick for the boxy charms, so they're all gonna be custom shades. So this one here is the shade Charm. It's a really, really pretty brick red shade. It almost reminds me of what I have on my lips right now. It's really pretty. I love, love, love this formula. It's one of my favorite formulas of matte lipstick. It's very long lasting and this is the high value lipstick. These retail at $18 a piece. So I always love anything dose of colors that we do get. And then lastly, we have a palette, which is awesome to get in our boxy charm. So we have the Celestial Storm palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I love Dominique Cosmetics. I think her brand is just really, really good. And we get inside of here this custom palette that she did with boxy charm. So she came out with the Celestial Storm palette. It is a little bit larger than this one. And I believe she made this one just for boxy charm. 
Charm. It's like a mini version of that palette. So inside of here, you do get eight different shades. There are five different matte shades and then also three different shimmers. It does have a mirror in here as well. The color selection is a little bit more out of the box, but I definitely think you could still create some natural looks with this one as well. Here are some swatches of the shades. So we have all eight of the shades right there. They swatch very, very beautifully. Her mattes are one of my favorite formulas. They're just really easy to blend, really easy to work with. So I'm really excited to have a palette from her in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add up the total value of this month's BoxyCharm so you guys can know what you're gonna get if you do receive this variation. So the total this month is $203. And again, you're paying $25 for the box. I definitely think it's a good value. I think the palette's so pretty. I love the lashes. I'm excited about about the lipstick in there. The only thing that I'm kind of like eh about is the brushes, but I will try them out and see if I do like them. I, they might surprise me. And I'm really curious about that serum since it is so expensive. So that was everything that came inside of our November Boxy Charm. And now I'm gonna move over to the premium box so I can show you all of the products that came inside of there. So this one is going to be $35 again, and it's supposed to have, I believe, six to seven full-size products in that one. So it's $10 more than this box. And I'm kind of curious to see your guys' thoughts on the products that came in here because I thought the premium box was also really, really good. So my variation for this one is number 13. So there's definitely a lot of our variations you can get with the premium box. So it is quite a bit larger, as I said, and I do have quite a few products to show you guys. So the first item in the box that I was actually really excited about, this is a skincare product from the brand Kapari. I've actually never tried anything from this brand, so I was really excited to see this product in here. So this one is their Coconut Rose Toner. It says that it's a refresh and rebalance. It's actually a spray as well, which I enjoy spray toners. I think they make it so just like easy, and I love these. It smells amazing too. It is a rose and coconut scent. It smells really, really good. The price on this one here is $25, and it is obviously a full size, and you do get quite a bit in here. It has 5.1 fluid ounces, so definitely a lot of products. The next item was also another skincare item, and this one I'm very interested in. So this is from the brand QMS. It's their intensive eye cream. It says it's a day and night eye cream. Here is what it looks like, and this says that it retails for $150. So I'm very, very curious. I've never heard of this brand before. I don't really know much about it, so you guys will have to let me know down below if you have tried anything from them. The consistency of this does seem pretty thick. I'm very, very interested to try this out to see if I notice a difference. That is a very pricey eye cream, so I want to see like miraculous things for that price. Um, so we do have that inside of the box as well. So the next item inside of the premium boxy charm is this Becca Glow Gloss. I do really love this formula. I got mine in the shade Champagne Cream. I think that this is a really pretty lip gloss. It is a little bit of like a plumping gloss. It has like a minty taste to it. I'll go ahead and show you guys a swatch of this shade. It's just a really pretty light golden shade. I like this formula. It's not very sticky. It's just wears nicely on the lips. It's not going to be too long lasting because it is a gloss, but I do really enjoy it. I use these quite often. So the price on this one is $22 and I'm sure you can get a array of shades in here if you do end up getting this. So I just have three more products to get through in the premium box. So they did actually include a brush set in this one as well. So this one is almost the same as the first one, but you do have more brushes in here. So we have those same two larger face brushes, but then they also added a few other brushes in here so it says that this is a retail of $65 and the brushes that they have in here are a few like eye brushes I'm not really sure what you would use this one for I think it's a little bit too big for the eyes so maybe like a contouring brush or something and then you have these two brushes right here again these aren't my favorite I don't love this um, the handles on them they do feel like a little flimsy so I'm not gonna knock them until I try them but I wasn't too thrilled to see this inside the box again but it does say that it's a retail of $65. And if you guys are needing brushes in your collection, then maybe you love this type of brush. I don't know. And then the product that I was actually really excited about is the Natasha Denona product, which is crazy because I feel like we don't really get Natasha Denona in BoxyCharm. Like, she is a very luxurious brand. So this is her Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This retails for $55. And I remember when this came out, I was definitely eyeing it, but I didn't get it because I thought it was a little deep for my skin tone. I know I have seen my friends review it, and I know that they made it work for them, and they did really like it. So you do have the four different shades in here. So you have two cream blushes and then two highlights. 
and also a nice mirror and then I really love the packaging too because this actually flips up so because they are cream products they're not going to mix with your other products or get dried out I thought that was a really nice touch in here so again you do have the four different shades I'll go ahead and swatch them so you can see what they look like so here is a swatch of all four of them so the cream products are those first two and then the last two are the powder products so I feel like the blush like the red blush does look very bright but I have seen a lot of people People use it like very diffused or put it on with a sponge and it doesn't look like too intense or anything like that for the glow cream I feel like I would use that as a little bit more of like a blush topper or like a cream highlight I feel like the highlights though look really really gorgeous especially that first one right after the red I think that one looks really pretty I love how compact this is and I was really excited to get a product from them in the box because I feel like we never get Natasha to know so that was quite exciting and then the very last product in here it was one that I was kind of like meh about this is from Dragon Beauty which is Nikita Dragon's brand and this is actually a color corrector and I don't really use color correctors in my routine so that's why I wasn't the most thrilled to get this in here but I know a lot of people do so if that's something you are into so this one is her skin perfecting potion and I'll go ahead and swatch it so you can see what it does look like so here is what it looks like it does have a nice doe foot applicator on here and this is something that you can use to cancel out like redness or darkness so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like blend it out it looks like a product that you'll need a very very light amount of if you are gonna go in with this and the retail price on that one is $25 so that is everything that we got in the premium box. You guys will have to let me know. I'm very curious to see if you think that that was worth it. I think it's a pretty good value considering all of the products that we got in there and the Natasha Denona. I really do like the Becca Glow Gloss. I was very, very much excited about that Kapari product and very curious about that eye product. So that was all of the products inside of there. I'm gonna add up the total value so we can see how much we got worth. So the total value of the premium box was $317 with all of the products in there. So you guys will have to let me know if you have other upgraded to the premium box or if you're planning to what do you think of the products inside both of them I do like that there wasn't any repeats aside from the brushes I thought that that was nice a nice nice touch instead of getting like the same palette in each one so if you wanted to subscribe to both boxes you could let me know down below your thoughts don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye friends